Every single video I have of you is you reading. Seriously? You're on such a reading book. That's so good, but you know it's so mad. I since yesterday I've only read one, two, three nine pages. <laughs> Just there when I was sitting down reading earlier, I read fifteen pages. Oh god. <laughs> Yours is way more intellectual though. Yeah, I think there's something else going on there, though. <laughs> I can literally see the builders as well. Pop that booty out, El. <laughs> Every time you feel the camera on you, you're like this. <laughs> I know, I just don't know how to be Hello, okay, this is probably the best time I have to do a little chit chat because the girls have gone to get um, lunch but I'm just like not hungry, I don't really have an appetite since we got here but I've still spent so much money on food somehow but anyway, so we're on the beach, we've just got to Croatia yesterday and like it is just the best place ever like everyone is so friendly, we feel so safe after being in Hamburg, like I didn't feel anything in Hamburg really but we felt so unsafe there like the men were just really had the audacity over there oh i just can't see anything um yeah men just really had the audacity over there and were really scary and like um like taking videos of us and following us around can i take a picture why because you are so coarse i mean you're so in the cold water Go! I want it on the head. That's all. No, come. Yes. Come on, oh, you can't do that. Ah, please. <laughs> so come on, get so that really wasn't a buzz, but so we were ready to leave there. We were only there for three days and then we flew to Croatia and like just immediately the vibes were so good since we got here. And 
having the best time ever. Like it's only day one, we're here for two weeks and we might try to get jobs and stay on then. But like, I'm just having the best time ever. And like, usually I don't like swimming in the sea and I don't really like beaches because they're open and scary. But I'm having such a good time and I don't feel anxious at all. And I'm just so happy and it's so good and everything's so good. And I just feel so happy and content. And I've been seeing my angel numbers 222 and 404 everywhere, like nonstop everywhere. So it's just really nice that like, I feel like the universe is really on my side at the moment even though I've had a few bits of bad luck I haven't let it like wreck my buzz as in I somehow smashed my phone a bit and I also lost well lost I dropped my speaker in the sea in Hamburg and like I've had that speaker for six years and I brought it with me everywhere so that was really sad but live and let die you know I'm gonna be getting tan and once I'm tan like I just feel like everything is so much better um hopefully we're gonna go out tonight and like even though I loved the techno in Berlin and like I don't even feel like I got all the techno out of my system I am so buzzing for like a hot girl club to be honest I feel like that'll be so good and a nice change of pace like last time we were in Berlin I like vlogged all the time because I had so much time because I wasn't doing anything but now I'm actually busy 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 and I have nothing like to update other than like my state of mind which is so good and fresh so I'm just really happy and good um got scalded to bits also I changed my septum to a little hope but it's so small and like it looks like I don't have a septum anymore which I hate because I love my septum so I might change it back also We've had our washing out for like two days now and it's literally 30 degrees and it's still wet. Like I know obviously heat rises and it looks fucking stupid because it's so low but we can't figure out that rail. I think you're about to hang it out the window and like... I don't know. Anyway, so I am up and chilling. Um, basically... <laughs> It's actually a big fat ordeal. I wanna hold on. After we after I fill up that bit at the beach, um, we stayed there for five hours. So we got there at twelve, we left at five, and we were like, okay, let's go do our big grocery shop. And we want to go to the mall to do some shopping because we don't have any like going out clothes because all of our going out clothes are very much Berlin nudie rave vibes, which we just knew wouldn't work here. So we're like, okay, let's go to like H&M um, and get new clothes. So we're on our way to do that. Fair enough, we have been scheming the whole bus system because like the first day we bought it, it was like three euro and you could just keep scanning your ticket. So we did that the first day, then after that, like everyone would just like get on and not pay. So we're like, to be honest, because like bear in mind, I paid 40 euro for like a weekly Berlin ticket, which is so stupid because I didn't get checked once, so that was just a waste of 40 euro. But whatever, so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna pay, whatever. We we're only on the bus for like two minutes. Got on, and a fucking checker got on, and he only came up to us, which is really annoying. Um, and he was like, yeah, 20 euro. And we are like, okay, we don't cash though. And he was like, you need cash, you need cash. And we're like, well, we don't have any cash. So then he was like, you need to stay on the bus till the last stop and go to the ATM and get us cash then. So we were like, we need to go. So we stay on. God, I'm actually starving. Um, the last stop, and um, there's the ATM across the road shopping center and he was like, okay, one of you stay here and the other one goes to the ATM. And we were like, we're not leaving each other, like, we need to stick together. Because to be fair, like, it was just very random. Like, he didn't, he didn't, like, it seemed like he was just going to take the cash and pocket it. He didn't really seem very um, formal in, like, his job. I didn't know what the bus was or if we were just being swindled. So we were like, no, to be honest, we all need to go. So he's like, okay, you guys go to the ATM. So we started crossing the road and we're like, let's just go into the shopping center and not come back. Like, 
the fuck? Like, I don't want to pay you to hear out. And Rachel won't do that. Fair enough. Because, like, we had to get that same bus home. But we're like, let's just see what happens. So we started walking to the shopping center. And lo and behold, he comes running after us. But we we're just being stupid. We we're like, oh, look, like, we couldn't find the ATM. Like, whatever. So then we end up taking out 60 euro to give this fella. So that's done and done. We go do our grocery shop, do some shopping. That's all good and fresh. Then we're doing our grocery shop and it's a huge spar. I've never seen a spar like it. It was like Tesco on crack, but it was spar. It was so random. But we're doing our big shop. We have all of our groceries, like 100 euro worth of groceries. We get to the tail and when we go, to, before she starts scanning, um, she's like, I need to check all of your bags. And I say she was like our age. Like we had our tote bags and our like, shopping bags from like H&M and shit and we're like okay like we've nothing to hide so we handed them all over and she started like picking up the like juice carton and the water carton the water bottle and shit that we bought like hours previous for the beach and that were like empty and like Rachel had like stuff she got in the pharmacy like we all bought moisturizer and stuff she started picking up them up being like where's your receipt for these and we're like we didn't buy them here and she was like it's my job like you need to prove where you bought these and she gets like two managers to come over and like check our bags and stuff it was just so weird like she said it was her job but like we were all just so confused it was so weird like i've just never had that happen before it was so bizarre um we came home we we're taking trains like making dinner every night so it was rachel's train she made delish pasta and we said grace but, like grace like we just like the universe and stuff being like even though we've had like really random bad luck because also at the airport when we were coming when we were waiting to board on the loudspeaker they said Rachel Jones like please come up to this thing like I've never heard anyone's name being called on that it was so dramatic like it was on the big loud airport speaker and they were like Rachel Jones so we had to go up and like I didn't even know what they ended up asking they were like I had to confirm the weight of her bag or something I don't know so that was also just really weird and we all got stopped in security. We all got like patted down, took to the side. Rachel's bag was checked. Like, do we give suspicious? Like, I don't understand what was going on. That like, what was the other weird bad look? Oh yeah. So then we have our dinner, we get ready. We're buzzing for the slide out. We even treat ourselves to a taxi into town. And we get there, pay 20 euro again. I have to go to an ATM, take out 20 euro. It's the end of this club. It's the busiest one there. We're buzzing, whatever. It is the worst fucking, like, I love a bit of trauma sometimes. I don't know if there's a, um, but like, I can appreciate a shit club sometimes. I can appreciate shitty radio music. I can pop my pussy to like, hot girl songs, you know? Like, I was buzzing for it, like I was ready. But this was the worst, the worst music I've ever heard. They were playing fucking track remixes of Avicii. <laughs> and Astronaut and Ocean, you know that, you know that song. Like people had no decorum, like people were just so pushy, like I was expecting like that behavior at the raves, like I'd been preparing myself. But at the raves, like you have so much room, nobody gets up in your business. It's so like everyone's just dancing, having such a good time. But like here, it was just constantly people were just shoving into each other, like nobody was like dancing. Everyone was just constantly trying to get by. And like I really gave my best royalty at the music, but like it was so bad. Ow! Of a okay, let's leave and try find another one. But like, if we had to pay to go into another one, we were just gonna go home at this point because like, try goes. Then as we're leaving, um, we were with this group from England, and they had a villa with a pool. And like, even though we'd been at the beach all day, we don't have a pool, and we were scared for a bit of the pool. Um, so they're like, okay, come get a taxi with us back to our villa. This villa was literally like a Love Island villa. It was so random. There were like six guys staying there. 
and like they kept saying they weren't rich but like it was like a fucking love island villa <laughs> we're swimming we're having such a good time playing cards have jacuzzi like brands um as every group of boys go like obviously they were a little bit problematic as in like you just can't fucking have a nice time with a group of boys without them at some point making some kind of comment that leaves everyone uncomfortable or to be honest now they're all grand it's just one fucking guy had major beef with me major major beef with me every time i opened my mouth he was like you're fucking rude aren't you you're sassy aren't you like hello i was so confused and like it was just so weird he just had major beef with me and it was giving like 10 year old boy flirting by like hitting you in the face do you know what i mean like it was that kind of buzz and i just wasn't happy and then he'd be like oh we're bros we're bros like this month and i was just like stop talking to me like i just i just i can't get social cues like when to like shut up like not saying i should shut up if he's being rude to me but you know what i mean like i don't know where to like what is gonna make everyone awkward <laughs> like the autism in me you know like if he was like being rude to me like i would i would like not snap but i'd be like that was weird like you're being really weird and rude right now and then everyone would get like awkward um i'm explaining it bad but you know what i mean anyway he said and we ended up staying till like half five and we left because rachel went gammy mode but had such a good swim and it was so good it's a new day. I'm kind of disheartened to be honest about the going out buzz because we're here for two weeks and like obviously we'll try other clubs but like it's not looking fantastic and um, much food now because the first also bad luck the first night we got in and um, like we'd been on the plane we'd been on like loads of buses we got here super late nowhere was open for food like no takeaways no restaurants no shops were open things closed like relatively early here at like 12. we were starving and like we just had to give up like there was nothing we could do um so that was kind of sad the vodka we got like we were just so used to everything being cheap as pittance in berlin so like we saw that smirnoff was like fucking god i feel really sick um Smirnoff was like a normal price of God, or such back then. That was really freak me out because like if I was on my period or like just about to get my period or ovulating or anything, they were like, okay, fair enough, but like I'm on the pill. So when I get cramps now, I'm like, why am I? Why? Do you know what I mean? There you go. But I'm gonna lather myself up in some cream, even though I really thought I did yesterday. I take a shit and then I'm going to make some food put some sun cream on um our balcony is nice you can't really like tan here so i'm gonna have to wait for the girls to get up to go to the beach but yes <laughs> again i actually don't know this isn't really a beach i found a rock um i'll show a proper video in a sec but yeah i found like 
we went to like a secluded well we i i went first because I'm, I'm really impatient and i'm always ready first so i went on my own but the girls are meeting me but yeah it's like a secret beach and it's actually so nice like it's kind of far out and where i am now is just like on loads of rocks but there is a little beach part as well i think i thought i was being adventurous and i was like okay i'm gonna get in straight away so i climbed down the rocks and i jumped in and then like i've realized the fucking rocks like get back out i'm so paranoid about sea urchins now because i just saw a tiktok about people getting sea urchins in their feet in croatia and we don't have rock shoes and like to get out of the water i had to like climb really spiky rocks that looked like they were covered in sea urchins um so that was scary and then i was like what if i just can't get out and i'm just on my own and nobody knows where i am so i think i won't get in again until the girls come or i'll like go down to the actual beach area but it is so nice though and like when i was on the bus here it just so feels like a holiday holiday like i really enjoyed berlin but this is just so a holiday do you know what i mean like, and i'm finally getting a really tan i look very like glazed up um but yeah so it's super nice so i'm gonna finish my book um and maybe get in again in a minute we need to do some intensive journaling because like I'm really not used to well I am used to being with people all the time I feel like I always say I'm with people all the time which I am but like I'm also a big advocate for wind down time and even though I'm able to have wind down time with my girlies sometimes you do, do you just need to be like on your own on your own um so this is a nice like recouping time so I want to get my journaling in as well and just like some peace we made a friend on the boat we did the party boat and we made a friend and we were out with her last night and we were with her all yesterday on the boat and she's been interrelating on her own for eight weeks and like the idea of that is just so crazy but it kind of does tickle my fancy to be honest like i'd be really scared but she said she wasn't nervous at all like for her safety and that it was actually so good and she's made so many friends and i feel like obviously i need to really push myself to talk to people but I feel like that does sound really nice i'll be um trying to get a job and like we've been talking to people from different boats and stuff who said they would be able to get us jobs but i don't think i'd want to be a promoter and like the party boat was so fun but i don't think i'd be able to like do that every day and i wouldn't really be one for like going up to people in the street getting them to like get on do you know what i mean so i don't think that's my buzz but I really want to go back to Berlin um, so Thebes I might oh my god there's a huge yacht over there and they like set up an obstacle course in the water but yeah this is the first time I'm thinking about any of this but speaking out loud it's actually so therapeutic because like I love journaling but sometimes I'm too lazy to write all the thoughts that are coming into my head so I just like summarize it but like when you're talking out loud like i'm i'm really like thinking like i wasn't thinking about going out anywhere on my own but now i'm like if i don't really want to get a job here i really don't have that much money left but maybe i should just like go frugal mode and like travel somewhere on my own definitely won't end up doing that but if i do that'd be cool things you need to experience do you know what i mean um, wow, it is just so beautiful. Wait, I'll show you. So this is where I am set up on a rock. I had to climb. This is the view of my toes. I really jinxed it because like the first few days, the girls were getting so many bites. And I was like, oh my God, like I just don't get bitten. And I've gotten bitten to death now. Like, and I hate being itchy. Like I hate, 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 hate it. But like at the same time, I love an itch. Like if I'm itchy, I will like, itch my skin till it goes raw but that's why it's not a good thing because obviously that's not good there's so many um what are they crickets but yeah it's just so beautiful i just feel so content that like i just don't have to worry about like my mental state it's just so nice to be honest i'm having the big fat best time of my life like this is the current sitch um i've been here for like three hours like this is where i'm sitting so nice um although i forgot that i took my sun cream out of my bag and i feel like i'm gonna burn so 
I'm gonna have a gander and see if there's somewhere to get food. And maybe sit in the shade for a minute because I was having such a nice time. Oh, I didn't realize there was a whole like actual beach here. Okay, that makes so much more sense. But it's also like a bar, which I don't think I'm telling I'm fucked to do. Looking back in the direction of where the girls' beach is, I think I got that. But yeah, I'm having such a good time. And I was dreaming about it, and I'm really liking the idea of going somewhere, somewhere on my own. TBH. So many groups of English people. But yeah.